<sighs> hey YouTube, it is I, Joey, and I moved. I'm in Alabama now, so <laughs> it's weird, it's warm, uh, it's like 70 something today. When I left, it was like the 20s in Mississippi, so you know, sometime it's definitely passed in between them but it's still weird but uh yeah this is the channel now uh, i'm gonna be doing herping videos in alabama doing vlogs actually just okay got done herping but uh not for this video that's gonna be one for another time if i post it sorry sweat in my eye Shouldn't have done this uh, before I was all cleaned up and refreshed, but yeah, I'm a professional. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, I'm not going to bore y'all super long with everything, but I did want to say uh, I've moved here at an interesting time. <laughs> uh, it was uh, Mardi Gras, so you know. A lot of uh, adventure happened early on, and uh, <laughs> yeah, the first animals I saw were not reptiles. It's all right, had a good blast. Even if this thing's been used more uh, in Mardi Gras than it has catching reptiles in the last few months. Anyway, the uh, video you're about to watch is, you know, the first couple of weeks of me being here and um, you know, again, not gonna bore you too much. Alligators, snakes, maybe. <laughs> Here we go. I'm probably gonna reiterate some of the same things I said because I don't remember what I said two weeks ago. And like a professional, I didn't go back to rewatch the videos to, you know, see. I don't write a script. Yeah. Hey YouTube, so for the first stop of the day, we are at Alligator Alley. Used to come to this place all the time as a kid. Really looking forward to coming back to it all these years later, now that I live in Alabama. Uh, see some gators. I found it first. No, wait. No, it's not. Now we found the first. Little baby alligators. There's so many pet toys. Aww. These are the early seasons. That is such a great... Buy it at a... Buy it as a pet size. And then, uh... Quickly realize you made a really bad mistake. I know there's one right there. There's five of them. Yeah, got these two. Alligators, very adorable animals. You can do it. I believe in you. Congrats. Girls.
Come on, camera, focus. Focus. This is the... I made a terrible mistake when I got a pet alligator size. Oh no, you're not there yet. I know, I know. You hang out here all day and people film you. And you didn't even have time to shave. <laughs> if it works for Slowpoke, it works for me. About to do my due diligence and subscribe to Rally Go to Rally. Highly recommend you do the same. You know, you three people that follow me. Sometimes you don't know how good you have it until you make a living laying outside, soaking up the sun, getting to be lazy, and paid for it with food. Yes, I am judging you. Don't worry, we'll pretend that was the log. <laughs> he was ready to cool off. You really showed me. Yep. So active. And, <laughs> well, you're just a puppy. A puppy eating puppy. Not a puppy. I found my first non alligator hook for the day. Let's see if he's still over here. Nope. Had gone through this little. Nope. And he's gone. Hopefully, you got him on camera. Honey, I mean, that is big enough to be an adult. And you're shedding. Here's what I always wanted. I want to find one of y'all so bad. You will lose me. Wanted. A blood python. Ah. Well, and that's just so freaking beautiful. That's just the outside. What? Mm. There he is. Sorry, guys. Reticulated python. Hi, Nagini. Ah, uh, yellow anaconda. Still, sun glare makes it very hard to see these guys. But you know what? That's fine. Come down here and see them yourself if you're in the area. If not, sorry. If you ever get the chance, it's really cool. Mm, yeah. Mm. Wow. Aww. I would say we're playing a game of spot the snake. But snake's right there. Oh, yeah, and he moved. Hey, this is really cool. See him. He's focusing. See how he kind of twirls his head just like uh, he'd be in the breeze. And these guys are notorious lizard eaters. They'll hang out upside down like that, wait for a lizard to run up the twig and then whack. Mildly venomous. Really cool. You see him, his body going up side where the shadow of my finger is amazing animals really cool i love their head shape and their eyes i don't know i'm into just about any kind of venomous colubrid beautiful species <laughs> bull snake oh that's a species i hope there's a big snake down here bull snakes are a species i'd love to find Give it enough time. Something else on the wish list. I did see a hog nose. Here we have a hog island boa. Another thing that I want on the uh, wish list. Beautiful. 
And a little smaller than the Red Tails. The Colombians, anyway. You're ready to go into nice windy areas. Speaking of. Hello. Alright, right, say goodbye to the Woma. The really hard to see, bad to see Woma. You can see the edge. Last snake for the road. Pick me right away. And we go. All right, so we're leaving Alligator Alley now. Had some fun. Now we're about to uh, grab some food, do a little errands, and then uh, go somewhere we can get a little more hands-on with some reptiles. That should be a good uh, return to form for the channel. All right, I'm on my own now. Uh, I stepped away from the wife for a bit. I don't have a lot of time, but I've got about 30 minutes to look around in this area it's getting a little late it's around four o'clock right now uh probably not gonna see anything was told that the uh asphalt area usually is the biggest place to see snakes you know they come to bask i can believe it i mean you look around at all of this habitat oh, this is really good king snake Rat snake area. I really wouldn't be surprised to find, you know, copperheads. So we'll see. Mostly just kind of want to get out and explore and start learning the area, finding places. Um, pro tip, I guess. One of my favorite places to look for snakes is a birding trail. Just see if you've got any birding trails near your area they're excellent places to start most of them don't care if you go off trail but you know just check with uh the individuals because you never know all right maybe we'll see something maybe we won't either way i'll talk to y'all in a minute just had the first snake of the day and i was totally unprepared for it A ribbon snake too i saw it it was really thin started hearing movement he was right there slithered off into that rumble daddy nap i was starting to think i was just going to enjoy the walk for myself wasn't actually going to see anything nope there he was <laughs> there and gone really quick so I'm going to have to be a little more vigilant while I look so I can get something on camera. <sighs> Try to be prepared next time. All right. So I'm beginning to head back. Uh, sun will be setting next 20 to 30 minutes. No uh, nighttime visitors here. So I'm on the look for... Pretty much anything I can find outside the door to uh, wrap up the video with. But in case I don't, I want to leave it with this. I live in Alabama now. So the plan moving forward is to continue doing these little reptile vlog herping videos. As well as eventually showcasing my pets. Uh, I want to ideally be a mix of both channels, what I keep and what I catch. The two don't intermix. Uh, you know, I don't go out and uh, catch a water moccasin, then bring it home and make them a pet. I also don't take my pets and, you know, get bored of them and throw them out into the wild. Very irresponsible. Off topic. So, I've gotten settled in. I'm ready to start making videos again. I'm gonna try to upload weekly if I can. Probably gonna be more like bi weekly, you know. I have a job, I have life. It's hard to get out all the time, and even when I can get out, you don't necessarily see anything, and you know, can't make a video that way. But uh, 
I wanted to at least put something out this time to just say, you know, this is what's going on. This is where the channel is heading. And uh, hopefully, it's painted blue. <laughs> hopefully it's cool with y'all. All right, well, if I don't find anything else, there wasn't an old, by the way, but it got away. Uh, didn't have time to film it. If I don't find anything else and get it on camera, then I'll do a little proper farewell video at the end. But otherwise, welcome to my channel. Uh, the very new chapter of it. Well, I got turned around and ended up going the uh, long way around. But, uh, yeah, it's getting dark. No one's allowed to be here after night, so I'm about to have to leave. I felt that. But before I go, I got not one, not two. Well, actually two. <laughs> uh, two, I want to say ribbon snakes. They could be garters. I'm fairly certain these are ribbons. I'd have to check uh, what is around Alabama, but these look like ribbons to me. There were actually three. Uh, the third got away. Was not in herping mode when I stumbled upon these guys. Oh, I felt that. They are <laughs> pooping and biting and just not all around happy to see me. That might have blocked the audio, but yeah, pooping and biting, not all around happy to see me. But I'm happy to see them. These are the first snakes I've gotten to touch this year, you know, outside of my pets. So I'm going to grab a couple of quick pictures and then let these guys on their way. I do not have time to stay around and play, unfortunately. But I got to show you a snake before we left. And, uh, hey there, I see you. Don't bite me, please. <laughs> not the face. And in case uh, I am wrong or right, I will post uh, somewhere around here the species of the snake. But again, uh, I'm betting bottom dollar these are ribbon snakes going by the look of the stripes and shape of the head all right i'll see you in a moment all right i let one go uh just to get some closer pictures of those slightly larger all right low battery on my camera so just in case i messed up the audio i uh, started over but we are going to go ahead and release this one Wraps up the video.